Hi, I'm Dan. I'm a runner with the McGill Varsity team. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I typically eat in a day. Uh, I'm doing this because I've done a bit of research into nutrition and this year uh, have really changed my diet to help me perform my best as an athlete. And this has gotten a few people curious, uh, so I decided to put together this video. Um, just to put things in context, I run about 100 kilometers a week. This video tracks me on a Sunday, which is when I typically do my long runs. Um, so I might eat a little bit more than I would in a normal day, uh, but it's still representative. And uh, I'm going to show you everything that I put into my body other than, uh, other than water, so uh, food and drink, uh, including coffee. Um, so generally I just follow a couple of rules, um, about five rules here. First off, I, I eliminate any sort of added sugar into my diet. Uh, I actually went through my cupboards and pantry and took out absolutely anything that had sugar in the first three ingredients or so. Um, the second rule, I eliminate refined grains from my diet, um, using only whole grains, uh, any sort of white flour or white rice is eliminated. Third rule is to eliminate uh, fatty proteins, fried, fried foods, and any sort of processed foods, uh, or at least avoid those products. Uh, and actually what I've found is the longer I live on this diet, the closer to a, a vegetarian diet that I that I'm consuming. Um, and you'll see in this video there's, uh, there's uh, no meat products uh, at all other than uh, milk and, and uh, yogurt. Uh, the fourth rule is to log and track what I intake. This just makes me a little bit more aware of what I'm consuming and uh, I'll talk a little bit about that at the end of the video. I'll we'll revise my day and the scoring that I, that I have. And the fifth is uh, I always ask myself, uh, is this the most natural and the simplest uh, form in which I can it can buy or be consuming this uh, this product. I should mention that while I have found that this works for me, uh, I don't necessarily endorse what I do. Uh, I don't endorse any of the products that uh, you that will be featured either. Uh, I'm just uh, here to mention that I have found that this works really well for me, and it's allowed me to uh, reach what I believe is my maximum potential. Uh, as a runner. Um, so with that in mind, let's get started. All right. So it's Sunday morning. Uh, just got up pretty hungry uh, but I'm planning on going for a run in a couple hours so I'm gonna make what I usually make in the morning which is oatmeal uh, so I'm gonna start some Quaker quick oats uh, these are good they cook in about you know a minute and a half two minutes um, and I like to I like to cook on the stove top uh, if I've got the time which I do this morning uh, start with about a third of a cup I like to measure it out make sure I'm not uh, dishing out too much. Dump that right in. And then uh, I always find it's good to get uh, a couple chia seeds. I usually go for a tablespoon or a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. Good source of fiber. Good source of omega-3s. Nice little trick that I do. You don't have to add many refined sugars uh, to the oats. I actually put in some uh, diced banana. So I just dice up a whole banana, chop that right in there. And then I find this needs about uh, one cup of water, about three to one ratio. Uh, with the chia seeds, it takes up a little bit more water than, uh, than your typical two to one for, for oats. So oatmeal is heating up. Uh, find at this stage it's pretty important to uh, start thinking about spices. I like to go for three primary spices here in the morning. Some cinnamon. Just go for a healthy dose of that. Some nutmeg. And a little bit of allspice. Mix that all right in. If you got anything else on the go, I just chopped up a date here. I'm going to toss that in as well. And we'll just mix that in. Keep adding some stuff in while it simmers. Uh, 
spent about three or four minutes on the stove. Now we're just going to top it off with some uh, seeds and nuts and dried fruit. Uh, I've got a selection of stuff in my cabinet, but uh, just pulled out a couple of things. I like to mix up the variety uh, every morning a little bit. Uh, so we got a couple of pine nuts. I'm going to go for some uh, cashews. Some walnuts for a little bit of crunch. And I've got uh, coconut shavings here. And these uh, have a nice little mix in there. Some good old raisins on top. And uh, one or two uh, prunes. Uh, sometimes I like to add some some kefir or some uh, almond milk to it. I'm going to put some kefir on today. Just drizzling on top. We're going to mix all that together. Uh, Getting a good morning. Have that with a cup of coffee. Just going to put some almond milk in the coffee. Grab myself a spoon, stir that up, and that's uh, Sunday morning breakfast. Alright, so I'm going to be going on my long run shortly. Um, I just uh, chopped up about half of an apple, uh, which I've got here, and then uh, I got some hazelnut butter uh, that I made the other day, which is just divine, so I'm going to have some of that, and a little bit of almond butter here. Just scoop some of that on the plate and then uh, some assorted nuts and uh, this should uh, just give me a little bit of fuel uh, before heading out on the road. Alright, so just got back in for my run. I uh, did almost 24k, uh, so my body's asking for energy right now. Uh, I don't necessarily want to take in something solid, so I like to uh, do a little smoothie uh, if I... I feel like this. Um, so I started with some, some flax seed. Uh, I've actually just gone ahead and ground that in the blender uh, for a couple seconds. Um, had some spinach in the fridge. So I'm just gonna put some of that right in the bottom. And then I talked about some of these uh, smoothie packs uh, that I made ahead of time. So I chop half a banana up and then throw in some frozen fruit, throw those in the fridge and just a little baggie and then you have uh, sort of a nicely portioned uh, smoothie kit right there. So I just toss that right in. Go for some milk. Uh, I've been going organic then these days. I don't uh, shy away from the full whole milk. I, I think there's some good nutrients in there and uh, a good source of protein, especially if I'm not getting a lot from, uh, from animal uh, protein itself. I'll just go ahead and dollop some of that in there. About a cup or so should do it. And then I've got some uh, some pumpkin spice mix I just had lying around. It is the season of course. Um, so I just made this from some cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, allspice, cardamom and, and some mace and, uh, and some ground ginger. Uh, so go for a healthy portion of that in there as well. And we'll blend this right up. We go about two minutes on the blender and we got something that's uh, delicious and great recovery drink. Uh, it doesn't have any added sugar, something like a, a chocolate milk or a power drink. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this, do some stretching, and then uh, probably get a full lunch after a shower. Alright, so I'm also put together lunch from uh, some stuff that I had in the fridge. Uh, the pasta is some leftovers from the other day. Um, the sauce is... Just some tomatoes, onion, uh, carrot, celery, um, and then had that simmering for a little while, put in some tofu and some uh, texturized vegetable protein, um, which is kind of like a vegetarian ground beef alternative. Uh, and then just uh, shredded some Parmesan cheese on top of that. And the salad uh, is just some lettuce that I had in the fridge. Uh, I diced up a bit of avocado, some of those chickpeas that were simmering on the stove this morning. Uh, with some tomato as well 
mixed up a little vinaigrette uh, just real quickly and then I'm gonna have that with the rest of the uh, smoothie that I just made. Just a little mid-afternoon snack. Uh, got a coffee. Just got some cream in there and uh, some celery with some uh, some hummus. This is some homemade hummus. Uh, and just chickpeas and some uh, tahini in there. And then I'll probably have this apple pretty shortly as well. All right, so I'm going to get started on some dinner. Uh, the general plan tonight is to just make some curry uh, using some curry spices and uh, hopefully try and get rid of a lot of these vegetables I have in my fridge. Uh, just got some broccoli, some onions, some celery, carrots, and green onions. Uh, sweet potato... Some mushrooms and some tomatoes will bring it towards the end, along with some uh, spinach there. Uh, for some protein, I've got lentils and those chickpeas I talked about earlier. And uh, on the side, we'll have some uh, brown basmati rice. Uh, I've already rinsed it and it's currently soaking. So we'll pick things up uh, after I do some uh, dicing and hopefully get a few things on the stove. I got the onions uh, sauteing on the stove. Uh, separately, I've got uh, the sweet potato on boil and some of the lentils just to get these cooked and uh, all ready at the same time. Uh, the rice is going and I've already got the uh, vegetables chopped up. I've prepared a little bit of curry mix here. Um, so this is mostly curry powder, uh, and about a tablespoon and a half curry powder, some uh, half a tablespoon of turmeric, and some cumin, uh, ginger, and and uh, cayenne pepper in there uh, for a little bit of spice. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of this right in with the onions. Mix that around and then I'll be adding in uh, the rest of the vegetables. Uh, all the vegetables are in here. So I've also added in uh, the lentils, the chickpeas, some tomatoes. Uh, Remember that apple, half the apple from uh, earlier today where I had as a snack before the run. Uh, I put the rest of it in here and even some uh, some raisins in there. Uh, and so it's been simmering for a little while. Our rice is just clicked, it looks cooked. Uh, so we'll dish this out. Uh, so I've dished out actually quite a bit here and uh, haven't even really made a dent in it. So that's, that's uh, good news for uh, the rest of the week. Uh, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of kefir on top of it. I think that could go pretty well. And try some of these, some coconut shavings. I think that can mix them really well too. So it's all about kind of trying some different flavors and seeing how it all goes together. Okay and the last thing I uh, finish off with in the evening, uh, just a little bit of tea, a caffeine free uh, uh, fruit tea that I have here and then I allow myself uh, a square or two of uh, high percentage cocoa uh, chocolate here so I'm just gonna break off one piece and that will be uh, that'll be it for tonight okay so I mentioned at the start of the video about tracking my nutrition uh, I do this in this little red book here um, I got the idea for doing this from a book called Racing Weight by Matt Fitzgerald, uh, which is sort of a, a nutritional outline for endurance athletes. Um, and so what I do is actually I apply a score to everything that I uh, eat. I'll just give you a quick look at this chart here. Um, it's based on the number of servings that you've had in a day of a certain uh, type of food and you apply a, a certain number of points attributed to it. So it breaks down high quality foods, um, highest of which are fruits and vegetables. Then you've got your lean meats, or I've just uh, broad, broadly termed this as proteins now, uh, to include things like tofu and other legumes which provide protein, uh, nuts and seeds, whole grains, and dairy products. And you can see um, as you consume more, the scores go down, and even to a point uh, you start getting negative scores for high quality foods. Uh, and then you've got your low quality foods. You've got refined grains, sweets, fried foods, and fatty proteins. Um, and all of these count as negatives right off the bat. And then uh, as you as you consume more, then the negatives start uh, increasing in some cases. 
Um, so what it does is it promotes the, the consumption of the high quality foods and more of the high quality foods, but not, uh, you know, also taking into account the amount that you eat in a day and trying not to, uh, to promote overeating uh, of some of those products. So um, if we look at today as an example, um, So I've got uh, every day in the last uh, month and a half or so uh, listed in here. Um, and today we started uh, with some oatmeal. Um, we had some oats, which is a whole grain, so that's plus two. Had that banana with some dried fruit that was diced in there. Um, that's another plus two. We had uh, some chia seeds as well as some cashews and nuts and uh, uh, some pine seeds. Uh, that's a nut. Uh, classifies as plus two and then uh, I drizzled some kefir on top uh, which counts as plus one for for dairy um, and so then tally up the scores and actually today uh, I scored as a plus 32 and uh, I had no negatives at all so there's no sweets there's no refined grains uh, no fatty proteins no uh, fried foods in there at all um, maybe I missed one if anybody notices please let me know and actually, uh, 32 is the maximum possible score. Okay, that's it for me. I uh, hope you found the video informative, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments.